Welcome back. Today we're joined by Gabe Rockers. He's with Edward Jones today to discuss, can you count on Social Security? Gabe, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And I, I want to thank KQ2 for allowing my office and for Edward Jones to sponsor this spot. Of course, of course, Gabe. And so specifically, I guess today we're talking about, can you count on it to contribute uh, part of the income you'll need as a retiree? And so some information we have here, Social Security is estimated to exhaust its trust funds by 2035. Uh, what does that kind of mean for future retirees? Great question. So it's not as scary as it sounds on the surface. Uh, Based upon a 2022 report from the trustees annual report, Social Security has determined that funds could exhaust at 2035, at which time beneficiaries could take a 20% cut in their benefits or their payout. And so it's not a, it went from a payment to zero, but it is looking like those funds could be in jeopardy of, of a pay decrease or a pay cut of sorts. Okay, so maybe not as scary as it sounds, um, but just how much should people be depending on Social Security uh, as where it stands? So it's person to person. Uh, it kind of depends on how you retired. Did you retire debt free? Were you a high income earner in your last years? Do you want your retirement income to fully replace the income that you had in those higher income savings years of work? Uh, people need to understand in general or overall, Social Security really only provides about 30% of your working wages. And so if people are expecting that Social Security benefit to pay everything, they've probably got a surprise coming. And if they need it to pay everything, they better hope that they're debt free going into retirement because all of our necessity or necessary expenses in the last couple of years have really gone through the roof with all the inflationary pressure. So that's what's scary is, is how much people really rely on their Social Security for their monthly income needs and how much it really provides based upon your working income. So, you know, I would encourage people Take a look at it. Don't be pessimistic that there won't be anything. I mean, it is an important government program. We do elect politicians to take care of those programs. And I don't think any politician wants to be no, named or, or get notoriety for cutting those benefits. So I, I would be optimistic there's something there. But I also think people need to understand it's not going to provide all your income. You need to save. You need to utilize an employer plan, a 401k, a 403b, a 457 potentially. You need to save in a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA when and where you can. And I know it's difficult right now, but those savings that you do today or, or do regularly today will add up and help provide a supplemental benefit to that social security outcome. Definitely. You don't want to rely too much on social security. And as you said, you want to make sure you're contributing to IRA and 401k uh, whenever you can. Um, so, so how can we get in contact with you or someone else from Edward Jones to discuss social security, retirement accounts, just make sure things are laid out correctly for your future? That's it. I think on a person by person basis, you can rely on a professional to determine when to file, when that would be appropriate. Um, in reference to getting a hold of me, anybody can can pick up the phone and reach out to our office. Uh, they can go online and find our contact information and, and schedule a call or you can walk in anytime. Uh, we'll understand a little bit about your circumstances. We'll gather some information and see if we can't find a time to sit down and dig a little bit deeper. All right, great. Well, Gabe Rockers from Edward Jones. Gabe, thanks for joining us today, giving us this information. Thank you guys for having me. Have a great week. You too.